Hey guys, welcome to Crafting with Cardboard. I'm Mr. Waxman, and I'm going to be showing you how to make some fun, easy crafts while we're all staying home. Being at home for a long time can sometimes feel a little boring, but if you put your mind to it, there's plenty to do. So we're going to get a little creative with material that you can almost always get for free, cardboard. Over the next few weeks, we're going to be making a miniature city out of cardboard, complete with buildings, people, cars, trees, anything you want to add to bring your city to life. It's your creation. Here's a city I've been working on, but you can make yours look however you want. Make your house, your favorite restaurant or store, maybe even our wonderful school. So let's get started. Today, we're gonna to start with a simple building. For this step, you're going to need a table, some cardboard, scissors, glue or tape, preferably both, and something to write with. It could be a marker, a pen, a pencil, a crayon, whatever, as long as it can make a mark. In this video, I'm gonna be moving uh, a little quickly doing step by step. So please feel free to pause the video anytime, slow it down, or go back to make sure that you can understand every step that we're doing. Now, most buildings have four sides. And to keep it simple, we're gonna make sure all of our sides are the same uh, width, okay? So the first thing you're gonna do is to take your piece of cardboard and fold it in half. The way to do this so that the line is nice and even and smooth across the middle, the best way to do it is to use the edge of the table, okay? What I do is I pick the middle spot, and it doesn't have to be perfect, but somewhere in the middle, I pick the spot, and then I put the cardboard against that edge and fold it over like this. That way I get a nice smooth line that's not diagonal or crooked, all right? After I do that, I'm gonna make sure that fold is nice and strong by pressing down. I'm gonna open it back up and fold this edge into the middle so that I have, uh, and then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side so that there's four even pieces on all sides. Once again, I'm gonna find roughly where it is. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're just gonna be gluing it together anyway. I'm gonna find roughly where the midpoint is, somewhere here. I'm gonna put that part against the table and fold it down. When I fold this down, it should be lining up somewhere here. That's close enough because I'm gonna want a little extra anyway, and I'll show you what that's for in a second. I'm gonna do the same thing to this side. So in the middle, right about here, fold it down, and now I have a nice four-sided building. Now you'll notice that two sides, oh, here we go. You'll notice that two sides are a little bit too long. I'm actually gonna use that piece to hold it together. And what I mean is that if I put this edge here, I have a little bit of extra room right here. See that extra piece? So I'm gonna take that, I'm also gonna fold that down using the table. And that'll give me a nice spot to later glue the building together. See that, see how it kinda overlaps? And I can glue it together right there. Now, as you guys can probably tell, I'm missing a very important part of the building and that is the roof, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna open the cardboard back up and I'm going to use my crayon, okay? I want my building to be about this tall, right here. So I'm just gonna draw a line all the way down this whole piece of cardboard so that the whole building is gonna be that, si that height. What's left, this piece, uh, a couple of these pieces are gonna become the roof. Now I'm gonna take my scissors and cut off One wall. Two walls. Three walls. Then leave the fourth last piece to fold down for the ceiling. Once again, get rid of the scraps. Once again, I'm gonna use the table to fold this down. Now when I put my building together, I've got a nice little roof, okay? I will show you in another video. I'll show you in another video how to make a peaked roof like on a lot of houses. Uh, but today we're just gonna start with this nice simple one um, so we can get a little more complicated moving forward. 
all right? Um, we don't need a floor because it's gonna be sitting, our building is gonna be sitting on a table anyway, uh, so we don't really need to worry about that detail. Whatever. All right, now I'm gonna glue it together. I'm not gonna worry, uh, my, the first thing I'm gonna glue together is the sides, and we'll worry about the, the ceiling later, all right? Take your glue. If you don't have any glue, you can just tape it together here. I'll show you how to do that in a second. But if you do, and I hope you do, because um, it's helpful, um, and if you can get some at the store, most stores, uh, well, most grocery stores will have a little bit of glue like this, all right? So that extra piece that I folded down earlier, that extra little tab that overlaps inside the building, that is gonna be the part that we're gluing down. See this right here? So I'm gonna put some glue. And don't be shy with the glue. And by that I mean you can kind of use a lot. Notice that I'm doing like a nice little zigzag pattern with the glue there so that um, I have a lot to hold the cardboard together. And now I'm gonna put the cardboard pieces together. Make sure that they are touching on all sides, or on, on all parts of the cardboard, meaning it shouldn't just be touching on the ends, it shouldn't just be touching the middle, it should be touching as much as it can all the way down that fold, okay? And you're gonna have to hold this together, maybe even put your hand inside of it, like this, for a few minutes. It's gonna take a little while. Um, so while we wait for that to dry, why don't we go see what my brother Sam is up to downstairs in the workshop. All right. Hey, Sam. While we're working on our project upstairs, I thought we'd come down and see what you're working on down here. Sure. Um, so, while we're here in quarantine, I decided I would make some furniture, some design stuff out of whatever wood we had in the house or whatever I could find in the woods. So this morning, I uh, went into the woods, found this like big rock right here. We had some like plywood just sitting in the basement. Um, so if you come over here, I can show you. I drew this blueprint of it with SketchUp on my computer. Whoa. So basically, this way I can, uh, I can use this drawing to figure out all my measurements so I can cut my wood, and then um, it makes it easier for me to turn it into the real thing, which you can see right here. Wow. Mm -hmm. From computer to real life with some excellent camera work. Oh yeah. All right, well thanks. No see problem. you later. Well, that was fun. Maybe next time we can visit some other friends in the house and see what they're working on. Now let's get back to our project. While I was gone, I wrapped a rubber band around the building to keep it uh, held together to keep uh, while it dried. So if you guys have any rubber bands at home, uh, it's, a, it's a neat little trick, um, but you can also just hold it together for uh, a minute, two minutes, um, and it should be dry by then. Um, remember that you have to fold that overlapped piece over before you glue. All right, so now I'm gonna take the rubber band off and we are going to make the roof. Um, so you're definitely going to want uh, some glue and possibly tape for this step. Um, because the roof that we've made folds over like this, you're gonna need to hold it for a really long time because it's gonna wanna keep popping up like this. So uh, it might actually be easier, and this is what I'm gonna do now, to just cut that piece off and glue it on top by itself. All right, so let's do that now. And if this is the step that you want to do uh, from the beginning, then you can ignore the part about the roof from earlier. Um, okay, so now I've got uh, four even walls, and I've got a roof that's going to fit uh, mostly over the top of that. It doesn't, once again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, we can add some decorations to make it look nice later. Uh, right now, we're just trying to get a nice structure going. Okay, so I'm going to take I'm going to take out my glue, and I'm going to very carefully let me get a little closer to show you. Second, very carefully, I'm gonna put glue all along the edges. It's okay if you get a little messy. That's kind of what art is all about, as long as you clean it up after, right? This is not my art room, so you are not allowed to get glue on the floor. All right, got a good amount of glue on the top on all the edges now. And now I'm gonna take my roof and I'm gonna line it up and glue it on. This one, because of gravity, will stay on by itself, but you definitely still wanna press down uh, for those first, I don't know, 10 seconds or so to make sure that the glue is really sticking to the cardboard. All right? I hope you guys are counting, because I'm not. 
All right, that should be good. While we wait for that to dry, let's work out some decorations. Actually, yeah. All right, so now we're gonna make some decorations or add-ons for the outside of our building. Uh, so I took the scraps that we uh, cut off from before. Uh, always save your scraps because you can use them to make some pretty cool stuff. So I'm gonna show you how to make a window, a door, and maybe even a little uh, satellite antenna thing coming off the top, okay? So first things first, I'm gonna take this piece of cardboard right here, uh, and I'm gonna cut it into uh, a few small pieces to make windows out of. Notice that I'm not being too careful. Um, these don't have to be perfect. I think it looks a little more fun if they're not all the same exact size, uh, but you do this however you wanna do it. All right, so now I've cut all my windows, and now I'm gonna decorate them. And you can do this however you want. You could color one window blue or green or whatever color you want. I'm gonna choose blue, because that's kinda how they look in the cartoons. And I like cartoons. Uh, and then I'm even gonna add that little window frame detail that you sometimes see. That like line kind of through the middle, okay? Another thing you could do is to draw somebody or something happening in the window. I don't know about you guys, but I like to keep plants in my window at home. So I'm gonna draw a little potted plant with some orange. Nice little plant. I'm gonna outline this one in blue so you can see the plant a little better. You could draw a person in here. You could draw what hap what's going on in your house in here. You draw whatever you want. This is just a little bit of decoration for the outside of the building. So have fun with it, get a little creative with it. Mostly just have a good time. All right, once you're finished with these windows, all right, my cameraman is telling me to show. Here's two of the windows that I made already. Can you see them? Is that better? There you go. All right, whatever. Close enough. You get it. All right, and then you can glue these to the outside of your building. Uh, you'll notice that I use the outside of the box um, and that you can see all this stuff from, I think this is like a battery box. Um, and I liked the orange, so that's why I kept it, but um, I obviously used the inside of the box for the windows so that I could add my own details, okay? So uh, always uh, be thinking about how you want your building to look. Hmm. I'm realizing now that I want to add a little more detail. Then we can just fast forward through this part. Do this part? Mm -hmm. uh, oh, I'll just do like fast forward, whatever. It doesn't matter. Just be careful because you're kind of getting out of frame sometimes. Oh, okay. Where did my other window go? Oh, it's still in the building. I'm going to add the outside frame so that it really looks more like a window. That's better. Okay. <clears throat> All right, now I'm gonna take a little more glue. This time you don't need too much. Get a little swirl on my window. Place it firmly on the building. Boom, two windows. And uh, I'm not gonna do all of them right now, but of course you can make as many windows as you like. Um, let me grab one to show you that I made before. This one's just got a bunch of small blue windows. This one actually did use the um, outside of the box to, cause it was a white box to make the windows look a little cool. Didn't decorate it much, but I kind of like the way they look. And this one, I even cut the windows out. That's a pretty tricky one. You might want to ask your parents for help with that. Next, let's make a door.
pretty simple, pretty much the same as the windows. I'm just gonna cut about the shape of a door and then you can decorate it however you want. Um, but one thing that is a little bit fun with this part, uh, you can either have the door flat against the building, like it's closed, or if you want, you could fold a piece down, just like that, just fold a little piece over. And then when you glue that on, it'll look like the door is open. I'm gonna do that, because I think it looks kinda cool. It's kind of inviting, like you want people to come hang out. I'm gonna hold that for yeah, about 10 seconds. Are you guys counting? You should be. All right, that's probably close enough. I'm gonna make a little doorknob by cutting a circle. Now, I'm showing you guys how to add the kind of decorations that I would like to add, but you can do whatever you want. This is your project, so seriously, like get creative with it. If you wanna add, uh, I don't know. I don't know what you guys wanna add, but if you wanna add it, add it. You wanna add a fire escape, or a dog, or a, I don't know, just, do whatever you want. You want to color right on the box? That's fine too, okay? So now I've got a door, I've got some windows, and I really should be waiting longer for this to dry, but I don't want to waste your guys' time. So that's, whatever, that's good enough for now. Now I'm gonna add a little antenna. One of those, one of those like wires that stick out of the tops of buildings that uh, make it so you can watch TV and stuff. And once again, I'm just gonna cut a little strip of paper Okay, and once again, I'm just gonna fold it over. I'm gonna fold it over like this so that I have something to glue, so I have something to glue down. Little spot of glue, bada bing, bada boop. Right on top. Once again, like I said, hold yours down a lot longer than I'm holding mine down. I'm not giving enough time to dry. Uh, you guys should be holding it down for longer so that it stays nice and stuck. And Voila, I got another building to add to my city. Let's go put it on there now. You wanna come with? Now, if I were making this uh, just by myself without the video, I would probably put a few more finishing touches on it. But right now, I think it's good enough. Boom, I can move this guy over here. All right, not too bad. All right, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Can't wait to look at all your amazing work. See you next time. Mm -hmm.